In the latest political developments, John Swinney, Scotland's first minister, is pressing UK Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer for a substantial increase in public sector spending. This comes as part of the inaugural Council of Nations and Regions meeting in Edinburgh, a new initiative aimed at resetting relations between the UK's devolved governments. Swinney's plea emphasizes the need for greater financial support to counter austerity measures and stimulate economic growth particularly in the face of critical public service pressures in Scotland. The meeting, which brought together leaders from Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, and regional mayors from England, aims to foster collaboration across the UK's various governments. While the Council's role remains largely advisory for now, it signals a new era of cooperation under Starmer's Labour government. Swinney's focus on increased investment stems from concerns over Scotland's financial health, as highlighted by a recent Auditor General's report warning that the current funding model is unsustainable. The report points to a projected shortfall of over £1 billion in Scotland's budget, casting doubt on the government's ability to maintain services in their current form without substantial reforms. Despite these financial challenges, Swinney remains committed to pushing for solutions. His discussion with Starmer centered on addressing key issues, such as funding for renewable energy projects, like the proposed carbon capture facility in Aberdeenshire. This project has so far been overlooked by the UK government, adding to long-standing tensions between Holyrood and Westminster. The political atmosphere has improved since Labour took power, but significant challenges remain. The SNP, long advocating for Scottish independence, has clashed with Westminster over issues ranging from Brexit to public policy control. However, Swinney and Starmer both appear determined to build a more cooperative relationship, recognizing that, despite differences, there is a shared interest in ensuring the stability and prosperity of the UK as a whole. Stay subscribed for more videos.